And the government's plan to reduce power bills has passed the House. It's on its way now to pass the Senate. Let's bring in independent MP, member for Wentworth, Allegra Spender, for her thoughts on this. And let, let's start with that question I put to the Prime Minister about investment mm. and the, the, the suggestion that the, today's intervention could chill investment and supply. What's your read on that? Mm. Look, I think, you know, I, I support the bill and, frankly, I've been calling for the government to intervene in this market for the last six months. Um, and the reason is, you know, Australian households and, and businesses are really hurting. Um, and, you know, one of the businesses I know, they literally had a 400% increase in their electricity bill year on year. Like, that is not sustainable. Um, that said, you know, I, I do have some concerns about the investment, um, you know, chilling of investment. I think that the government and the, you know, the gas companies need to work really closely together, you know, over the next few months. But we need to set up this country really for the long term. Um, and this is a very much, for me, a short-term Band-Aid over a problem, but this is not setting us up for the future. When you, when you look at the overall gas story, though, the vast bulk of gas extracted is exported, isn't mm. it? So we're only talking about a, a fraction of it, at least when it comes to gas. Yeah. Look, and I, and I agree that, to be honest, you know, the people that I'm... Uh, many of the people I talk to say, um, you know, this concern about investment is over... This investment chilling is, is overblown. Um, but I do understand that businesses get nervous when governments intervene in markets, particularly in sort of short-term ways. And so I think this is about, you know, us setting up ourselves for a long-term future in our resources and energy. And I think this is the, the big work of the parliament next year should be considering, you know, what is our resource rent tax framework? Do we have a super profits tax framework in the future that gives certainty to investors, protects consumers when their price spikes, but also makes sure that the Australian taxpayer, you know, benefits from, you know, increases in prices overseas? You know, we want all those three things to be true. So do you see it as your scenario? Mm. You'd like to see the super profits tax, but then those funds flow directly to consumers. Mm. Is that I, how you would frame it? I think that's definitely an option. And, I, you know, I, I, that's why I think this has to be back on the table, this sort of resource tax, which, you know, was such a difficult issue for, um, you know, the previous Labor, Labor government. But I think we have to come back to this because Australia's a really rich resource um, nation. We've got all these new resources coming, these rare earth metals, and, you know, that's really exciting for us. But we need to make sure the Australian, you know, taxpayer gets the benefit from it, that we're protected if there are price spikes, but also companies have certainty for investment. And if you know that there's going to be, a, you know, a super profits tax or a rent resource tax, you can make your investment decision on that basis with certainty and businesses need certainty. The, the Prime Minister has said when it comes to a, a reservation, mm. as we, we've had mm. in WA for many years, mm. uh, it was put in place by Alan Carpenter, I think 2006 from memory, mm. uh, but while there might be those that argue for it now for the rest of the country, you can't do it retrospectively. So mm. his argument is, and New South Wales apparently open to this idea mm. of future projects having a percentage which would be reserved for domestic use. Are you... Do you think that's the mm -hmm. right path with a reservation, at least for prospective projects? Look, the truth is that, you know, we... You know, the scale, you know we should be very... Um, careful about any future gas projects because we as a country need to move out of gas and into renewables and storage. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm also, you know, not necessarily a fan of a reservation project. While I think it has supported, you know, in WA, I think the danger is that it actually locks in dependence on gas. And we know full well that our, our best future, both from an economic point of view and a resilience point of view, is to, is to switch to renewables. So that's where I think that our attention should be focused. You know, where, and, where and do putting you see the, that process? at, though, mm. because there is still a long way to go oh, in terms absolutely. of transmission and storage. Mm. And this is a, a transition fuel, is it not, gas? So it's going to yeah. be used for some time to come. It is, but Australia does have a lot of resources that are already online now. And so, I, you know, I think that's why I say I think our focus shouldn't be on new gas projects. I think absolutely we should be focused, we should be switching our focus to say how can we speed up, um, you know, electrification? How can we speed up solar and renewables? Um, how do we actually get our, our families and our households and our businesses off gas? Because we know it's a fossil fuel. It's not good for us in, in, in the long term and there are now alternatives. We, we saw quite an emotional condolence mm. to the, the police officers... Mm. Uh, shot dead in, in the line of duty, uh, horrific atrocity is, in, in Queensland this week. 
the Prime Minister said today that he'd be open to looking at further ways that he could uh, strengthen the country's world's best mm. practice when it comes to gun laws, mm. courtesy of John Howard after Port Arthur. Uh, what do you think we can, if anything, do to mm. help prevent this sort of atrocity? And look, I mean, I, I saw, you know, the Prime Minister's comments and, and I agree that we should, you know, absolutely look at all options, but we should firstly understand, you know, how, you know, how, what, how did this happen? What were the circumstances, you know, and what can we learn from the individual circumstances um, from this atrocity and, and other, you know, gun crimes in Australia to say, are there rules that need to be tightened to prevent that? Because it is so, such an awful um, tragedy and you see they're so, the young police officers, they are so young, they had such, yeah. you know, they were so so new on the job and just doing their best and it is absolutely heartbreaking for them and their families and also uh, or the neighbour who was just doing the right thing. It is heartbreaking. There's no no other way to, to yeah. see the events of, of this week. Finally, on on as we look to the new year, the Voice mm. referendum is going to be a big a, a big event in the second half of next year. Do yeah. you think if the prime minister and the government were to provide more detail, mm. that would be reassuring to voters who might be wavering on whether to support it or not? Look, I think we um, I think there is going to be more more information and more sort of. Uh, feedback on questions in the new year, and I know that there's been a very thoughtful consultation, um, you know, with with various groups and constitutional experts. So you get it right. Um, but I think we need to learn also. Um, we need to reflect on what the constitution is. The constitution is, is a document of principles. It's not a document of detail. And if we if we go down the saying, well, this version of the voice in this parliament will look like X, Y, and Z. You know, you end up voting on a very narrow piece, which will be appropriate for a period of time, but is not actually what we're getting into the Constitution. So I think that we need to really focus on the principles of the voice, the principles of this, this not being a veto on any action, but just being a voice on the policies that affect Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. And I know from my own experience in all sorts of services, if you are, if you listen to the people that, are, you know, for the services that are meant to help them, if you actually listen to them, you'll get better outcomes. And I think this is what, you know, my community wants and I think, you know, so much of the Australian community wants. Member for Wentworth, Allegra Spender, appreciate your time today and throughout the year. We'll, uh, we'll see you early next year. Thanks. See you. Have a great break.